We're here today to provide an overview of our public safety preparation for the events surrounding the 118th Boston Marathon. We've gone through a lot of planning over the last couple of months uh, after April 15th last year and um, we have a good plan. Um, obviously we've stepped up our security. Um, you're going to see um, some uniform presence out there. We're going to really increase the undercover officers working in and around the crowd in Copley and along the route. Um, new this year is there's going to be um, checkpoints as you as you go into the area of Boylston Street, Commonwealth Ave, and we're discouraging everyone, we're not prohibiting people from bringing backpacks, baby strollers, or anything bulky that will make our job a little more, di more difficult. We have an awful lot more cameras out there along Boylston Street, Com Ave, all along the route in Boston. On race day, we're going to staff extra ambulances. We'll have EMS personnel assigned to uh, medical tents on motorized carts on bicycles and on foot teams all through the area. We've coordinated our plans closely with the Boston Police, Boston Fire, and other city agencies to ensure a rapid response to any situation. We've coordinated our plans with the medical volunteers and the hospitals, and they are prepared. Public Health Preparedness Division of the Boston Public Health Commission also will staff the Medical Intelligence Center should there be any need to coordinate medical services. If anyone sees anything, obviously uh, we want them to see something, say something. That's very important for us. You know, 26.2 miles for all the cities and towns, a lot to cover. So we encourage the public, if they see something out of the ordinary, please call 911 or they can text Boston 69050 and report anything that might be out of the ordinary. The transportation department is helping support the events by doing a series of road closures in coordination with the police department, as well as posting many curbs around the city, especially oriented towards the event areas with no parking regulations. But I'd also like to encourage people to, especially on the, the race day, to use the T, use public transit. The T is bolstering its service. They have a great write-up on all of their changes both in terms of rerouted buses, a couple of closed T stations at W, at, I'm sorry, at MBTA.com. The public should also know that when Boylston Street gets out of capacity that we're not happy with and we can't move, you know, whether we have bomb dogs or we have policemen walking behind the crowd, we're gonna limit access to crowds in different areas so we don't have gridlock of people. Unfortunately, since 4.15, um, you know, things have changed. They really have, but the goal is to make it a safe family day. The marathon is an international athletic event and a major civic occasion on our calendar, and it celebrates Boston. And it's a showcase of our city's best qualities.